be purged. Hi, World it's Ty Bug. Um, Welcome back to my channel. I always forget I'm using that the last webcam part. today just because I don't know how long I'll be going on for, but we're going to be playing Genshin Impact, and it's the Lantern Festival, and today is actually L Lunar New Year. The Happy Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year. Yay, Year of the Dragon. I'm so excited. I love oh, dragons. Yeah. Oh, I had a little dragon statue. I didn't bring it in. It was one of those like little burning ember sort of statue figurine things. But anyways, I don't Exorcism know how long the event to is, evil. like how long it'll take. There are, other means there are still uh, like they are two weeks left way. in it, I think. But when you try and get it through in one sitting, is that a little ambitious for me? Maybe, but I can do it. Maybe. <laughs> so let's just get right on into it. I have it loaded up already. So let's go. Why does it feel like my camera is so low? All right, so high. <gasps> Fire! Hi! Hello! Okay, I think that's a better height. And my hair is still reddish, but... It doesn't look right on camera. Oh, my ring light's not on. That's why. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I have to adjust my settings for my camera because now it's too... Um, I'm, I'm blinded. I always forget that last part. I'm blinded. <laughs> Let's see. Where's my exposure? Let's bring that down. <sighs> there, that looks better. Madame. Wow, well, madame. I take my okay. to quiet the spirit that and calm should be my vital fine. energies. For now. Water with ice is the most effective. Okay. There we go. Wow, so much better when you can see the face. Secret base? Yes, my secret base. I, it's just a little bit of a different angle. Oh, headphones. My, my lair, my headquarters. Okay. We are going to Liue. Liue Harbor. Feels like it's been so long since I've been on Genshin Impact. Or at least with you guys. Have you guys been doing anything fun? Anything nice for Lunar New Year? I just went to the hardware store. <laughs> Take a walk through Lue Harbor. It's so pretty this time of year. I love it. So pretty. Oh, we're going down to the harbor. I love all the lanterns. And fireworks? Were there fireworks last year? <laughs> Oh my god, I thought that was Cleet. And I was like, why is she so tall? Is that the girl from Fontaine? Coaching. I'm Charlotte. Charlotte. I never thought she'd see you two together. Nice to see you again, traveler. I don't think I've met Charlotte in game really though. Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. Kuching. They all have such okay. pretty eyes. Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? Well, yes. And... <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. <gasps> what? The oh, so that's why Paimon has seen so many floating in the sky. They're so pretty. Liyue Harbor is always changing. So it is only fitting that Lantern Rite should change in turn. Wow. The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, 
It is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. Hmm. So, Ningguang organized a private meeting with Miss Charlotte to ask for her help in fostering cooperation with the right I people. I like her boots. Those are nice boots. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. A what? <laughs> mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. I didn't really do any chatting. I just kind of said, it's Lunar New Year, let's get into it. So no new updates, really. Uh, but don't kites just use the wind to fly? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. How high and far a kite can fly depends <sighs> as much on the weather conditions as on <sighs> the skill of the person holding the string. I like that one. It reminds me of Yoimiya. My but fire as soon as girl. There's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower madaka out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. A sweet flower madaka. Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? Not by humans. No. Plus, the easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. Right? I also thought it was a novel idea. I don't think what I've met her in game yet. To do. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already available to <gasps> purchase the... from a stall in the harbor. I don't remember what it's called, but I, it's this thing. I like the butterflies, but I, I like the fish, the goldfish. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. Cool. Turns out you two and me want to play toys. Just as... uh, toys? There, you see, Miss Kuching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. What? They don't. They are toys. Hmm. Although kites are one of our most time honored cultural relics, but to me, there's so much more than that. Hey, to me, you're so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is the there's an old poem that goes, O kite born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. Dang. In the past, poets from Liyue Getting used real deep. to symbolize a feeling of longing, or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. I feel like I'm still overexposed, lighting-wise. Mmm, I could turn down my ring light, maybe. Better? Star Rail Twitter also posted an animated poem. Nice. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. That's the coaching we know. Always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. That's her. Always a hard worker. Well said, Miss Kuching. I've learned quite a bit myself. <laughs> as long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. Ah! I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. For example, whenever a kite blew away, People would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. <laughs> that way, you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. <laughs> can you imagine Zhao just being like, I'll take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Zhao's just watching all the kites like, which one do I like the most? That one. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're just going around cutting the strings of all the kites. <laughs> For all my adepti friends. More fun. Hmm, let me think. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious forms of- My grandfather told me that, back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite making step by step. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper. I don't like the this one. And tie on the string. It doesn't... It doesn't fit in. Then, 
You look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites. Cut the string and let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. I guess it's not technically littering. Because they're using bamboo. But the strings and the paper... I guess paper doesn't take too long to break down, but the string... Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <clears throat> well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, butterfly. happiness, or the desire to break free. I'd be interested in doing voice acting. I feel like that'd be fun. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? The scissor-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Wait, which one's a swallow? Colors, this one or that one? Small variations in meaning. Are they both so solo swallows? Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in Liyue? Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably Thank heard you. something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several. What is with this angle? That would be a huge help. Great. Looks like I've got the outline for. Perfect. Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little bit. <gasps> I almost forgot. I haven't been to your home, Kaching. Bears is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Rite. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special honor along with a secret prize. How am I supposed to do that? I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the- Oh, Paimon was on board the moment you said secret prize. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll look forward to seeing- You bet! See you then! Bye! I haven't seen Kaching's house. How come Charlotte gets to see Kaching's Wait, house? Traveler, take a peek to your right. Do you see those two people lurking over there? <laughs> How is that a peek? That's full on. Is it just Paimon? We saw that angle. Staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte. Great. So it, what do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always... Oh, Paimon's sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know. Foil their plans <laughs> before they even begin. <laughs> what was that? You go right, Paimon will go left. <laughs> the Oral... Oriolus... What? The Orioles bask in spring and the heavens oh, goes too quickly. You suspicious person, what's up? Oh. <laughs> it is with such an air of urgency that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Hey, yo. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. I literally just walked up to you. He's the one saying... You think we committed a crime, don't you? Uh, no, sir. I didn't say that. Whoa, where did this buddy daddy come from? Buddy daddy. You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy. <gasps> they both have hair sh colored strips. Red and green. Don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and we could tell. Uh. <laughs> one bears no secrets before two such as yourself. <gasps> Oh you my stand god! In the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Moon Carver. I was just thinking, why do they have fancy hair and colored eyes? Uh, no wonder. It's the Adeptus. Why why did he make himself look old? For the purpose of this and who is this one? mortal realm, however, you may address one as Ho Jong. Ho Jong. Who's a red one? Is it one of the birds? Why can't I remember any of the Adepti? You kidding? That deer's got his head stuck so far up in the clouds, there's no way he'd humble himself down here with the rest of us! I'm on! Uh-oh. Uh, you may want to hold your tongue, Paimon. Who are you? <laughs> Don't think that Paimon is going to believe you just because you know her name. Let Paimon guess. You're supposed to be Mountain Shaper, right? I don't remember what Mountain Shaper looks like. He's one of the birds, right? Adept Eye. I 
Oh. Okay. There are two birds. That's why it was confusing me. Indeed. Mooncarver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit. The two of you may call me Gia. Gia? Ha! Looks like you did your research. But in our experience, the harder you try to lead us on, the more likely it is that we've got a big fish on our hands. Uh, what? <laughs> we'll go straight to the Millilith and have you arrested for impersonating a deaf guy. Why? Paimon? Literally, what is your problem, girl? Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. Right. Tell us something that only an Adeptus would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person... Why are we so paranoid? I mean, I get it. We've had a lot of horrible things happen to us. Okay, yeah. Maybe they deserve to be paranoid. <sighs> During the last lantern rite, we gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's supreme cuisine machine. I remember that. To prepare bamboo sh the flavor of that soup was more than enough to whet one's appetite. As such, Cloud Retainer assented to my use of the device beyond that singular occasion, providing other recipes to boot. Since then, one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever... Culinary? Culinary. Dabbled? Upon one's last sojourn to your mountain, did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known? Oh, we're getting into the nitty-gritty. Uh... Did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? <laughs> one is simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. Don't use big words that I don't understand. Veracity? That does not mean you should reveal Why couldn't you just so say readily. validity? They might think one bears no difference from Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Forget it. One does not. Ah, uh, that might have been more detail than we needed. <laughs> Seems like you two are the real deal, and I'm sorry for suspecting you. <laughs> Back away slowly. But, uh, for beings as forgiving as yourselves, this is just water under the bridge, right? <laughs> you indeed have an agile mind. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. I know. I'm I'm all that. Paimon's still curious about something. It's just understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but why did you decide to come to the city, Mooncarver? The BFFs. It's not really your thing, is it? Hi, Z Tricky. Thanks for chatting for the first time. Welcome in. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> why is Moon Carver? Wait, what? Why don't I remember his name? It was Moon Carver, right? Huh? Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainers moved to Liu at Harbor. Did I miss that when she moved to Liyue Harbor? With lantern right near at hand. One would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. <gasps> is she Retainer missing? Is the oh, he is Moon Carver. <gasps> Your flower. Hi, Raiden. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid. Cloud Retainers, in this case. What does Cloud Retainer look but like? A moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Now, it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. What does he mean? Huh. So, you're not looking for Cloud Retainer? They saw a couple of kites and they're like, Okay, Cloud Retainer's fine. Just fine. Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament. I'm that doing well, thank you. Paimon. Given one's own Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. She holds the belief. Oh, so she's making something better? Surpasses that of all others. One surmises that she has shut herself <laughs> away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. It's like these humans think they're so special. Making flying kites. I made flying kites way before their age, and now they want to do it without the wind. I'll show them doing it without the wind. I'll come up with the best dimension ever. They'll never need another human again. However, if you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Aye, aye, Captain. Sure, leave it. Have a safe trip back. 
enjoy the scenery and happy lantern ride. Lantern ride. Thank you for your kind words. We shall now depart. Mad genius form. <sighs> we got all worked up for nothing, huh? We, you, you, Paimon, you're the one who got all worked up. I was, I was chilling. I knew those people were eavesdropping on me, and I, I didn't say nothing for a reason. Well, it's still pretty early. Let's head over and check out the kite stalls. Aye, aye. To see what kinds of kites we can buy to use in the competition. The bigger and prettier, the better. The bigger and prettier. Oh, oh, oh. I also want this one. I forgot what their name is. And is this? Is this a moon? Cloud retainer? Is this cloud retainer? Uh... Hey, yo. Who is cloud retainer? What is your name? Gaming? What? Your name is Gaming? I'm sure it's pronounced differently. Gaming, maybe? Gaming? <laughs> I'm sure it's not gaming. I know it's not gaming. Gaming? Okay. <laughs> I just, I love her. It's a girl? It's so cool. Androgynous Queen King. That's against the rules. Over here. I love it. Hey. Alley -oop. <laughs> they would get along so well with my Chong Yoon. Wow. It's so cool. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's like Sonic. <laughs> My guiding stars. Surprise! Surprise! Surprise, Shade. I'm just always sad when because four star characters don't get like an animation. You know, a a, a Q animation. Whoa! Yo! So cool. He's a plunging based character like Zhao. Like my Zhao. I just what should I even pull for them? Cause I don't really want her. I have too many five star characters that I don't use, and I don't want to be a collector. I collect too many things. I say as I press, I press it. <laughs> I can't help it! I see it. I like it. I want it. I get it. I want it. I got it. I'll just use whatever I have. Oh, seriously? I forgot about that. Are they doing it still? Oh, I have to finish first part. How do I get to that? Oh, hello. Hello. There we go. Okay. Well, let me use my last one. I already had. I was already there. I hate. Grr. Hello, lady. What's up, lady? Can I have a kite? Welcome. Are the two of you? Uh, I want the goldfish. Also have a unique meat. Of course. The jade chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. The kite bearing its design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. Oh, well, I I would like that, please. But what about the goldfish? Oh, now that's Paimon's kind of kite. I apologize for the interruption, but are all your wares in order, Miss Genuine? Why is everyone always interrupting and oh, eavesdropping yes, and all of the above? The paper, bamboo, and dyes. 
<laughs> Can I make my own kite? You want wharf? Oh, wonder what that place is. We, well, if the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then Yilong could I trouble Wharf? you to find Gaming and deliver these goods together? <gasps> I'm getting to meet them? Is Gaming the guard you just mentioned? Yes. The communications office handles shipments and transports around Li- uh, The Gaming! problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Let If you were willing Let to me out, meet them. Get a head start on my you do seem really pressed for I'll time. do it. But I want the money. Money, 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 money. Rewards. Now, at this time of day, coming should be somewhere in the vicinity. But just follow the main road until you see the head. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I'll even give you a discount. I want a kite. Can't I get a kite now? Can I get it now? By the way, do you know my aunt? No. I've heard her mention Gaming before. Apparently, he's a nice, outgoing fellow and all around he. good guy. Gaming's a... Gaming's a... a boy. Well, I wanted to buy a kite. But I, I guess now I know Gaming's pronouns. <gasps> oh my god, what is that? Wait, what is that? Dreaming? Loser buys dim sum tomorrow? <laughs> Look at you. Scout like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. Video gaming with Gaming. Hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation and I'll pay. Uh, no way, Gaming. You're always the one picking up the tab. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just didn't expect you to come from behind a win like that. He <laughs> he. <laughs> that was nothing. <gasps> Whoa, your eyes. The eyes scared me for a second. Perfect. Gaming is here. Hi, Gaming. Interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who needs you to deliver some goods to Elon Moore. Oh, that must have been Longjo. Looks like I've got work. You gotta go. Who is your voice? Why does that sound so familiar? Sure, go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. Ah, Ming voice actor Genshin Impact. Caleb Yen. Was he done? I don't know any of these. Why do I recognize his voice? Ah, Honkai! He was in Honkai Star Rail! He plays... Kalis, the... Our... The male counterpart. What else has he been in? Attack on Titan, the final season? Browse family adopted child number two. <laughs> he was also in Demon Slayer. He played Karaku. And in Fire Force. One Piece. He played three different characters, but I haven't met any of these characters in One Piece yet. I'm sure. So, uh, that's. What? Why do I recognize his voice so well? But that's not who... That's not what I recognize him from. Where is your voice? Because I'm not listening to it in Japanese, so it's the English one. Oh! Wait, what? It says he was in Full Metal Alchemist, the live action? He p played Edward Elric in the live action? What? Nuh uh. Live action? What? When was there a live action? <gasps> Mackin... 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 You, you, what is his name? The one from... Who was in the live action One Piece? He was in the live action Full Metal Alchemist. Is there a, 
an English Full Metal Alchemist that I'm not aware of? What the heck? How do I say his name? Mackin you? Mackin? What the? Why can't I speak? Who? No, because this says right, right. Oh my god. I don't know how to say it. Ryosuke Yamada played Edward. But this, is this the Japanese version? Did he just vo do a voiceover of? Th I don't understand. It's going to irritate me because he sounds so familiar. Oh, they did it a dub? Yeah, maybe. I haven't seen the live action, though, so I don't know why I would know his voice. In a pizza commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. He kind of just sounds like a generic boy. Kind of like a generic skater boy, if that makes sense. Kite making materials. I see. I see. And he's got a a mole on his neck. I'm glad it wasn't too much. He was a skater mind. boy. <laughs> you How'd you know my name? Ah, and you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Uh huh. Huh? Do you know us? Girl, everyone knows us. <laughs> There probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite well known around these parts. Ah, all good things, I hope. Oh, and please excuse Longjo if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. Why does his eyes look like camera lenses? Like when he blinks, they look like they're like readjusting the exposure. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately. Running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? And look at he has a little hair alfalfa. So, you here for lantern, right? I got alfalfa hair. Yep, it's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elong Wharf and have a look around. Perfect. We'll go together then. I'm good with directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. Usually, you once I meet stories, them, I like them more. No jokes or just chat along the way. But for some reason, get out of my nerves. What? I think I'm just like unsettled by him. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. It's like uncanny it's valley in my brain. The ingredients are fresh, the portions are generous, and the prices It's the voice, well, uncanny the uncanny order valley. Order anything, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Order anything? Hey, did you really have to call Paimon out like that in front of our new friend? Uh yeah. That's my job, Paimon. We're besties, duh. <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends, too. It just shows how close you are. I can't look at the eyes. It's you unsettling. Hit the road? Nope. Our things are always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. You don't have anything, Paimon, do you? I feel like everything you have is mine. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I am a guard, after all. <gasps> ah! I love... I love this sort of art. <gasps> I haven't gotten her. I would get her. Paper shadow room, ruminations. On the bustling streets of Liyue Harbor, you and Paimon are drawn to the painter... Make... What? Drawn to a painter making paper cutouts. You spy two familiar silhouettes among the items she is preparing. What's this one? Joyful beasts and their... Just Wu Shao? Dance. During the Lantern Rite Festival, you and Paimon run into Gaming and another friend participating in the Wu Shao... Wu Shao? Wu Shao. Dance together. He has prepared an endlessly fan... Why is going on with me? I cannot speak. And is waiting for guests to come and experience it. 
And what's this? Not yet unlocked. She is pretty. She is very pretty. What is her name? Yao Yao? Is that Yao Yao? So I can get him. I, I think I have Chong Yun C6. Do I have Chong Yun C6? I would hope. Yes, I have him C6. Okay. I have her. Yunjin? Yeah. And Yanfei. So, either you or you. I don't have a lot of Dendro characters, though. And she's a healer. I'll see how unsettled Gaming makes me. Because if he unsettles me too much, I am not gonna... Ah! Xingqiu! Oh my goodness! He got an outfit? Oh... Oh my god, look at that too! <laughs> Why would you even put a little ponytail in? There is nothing there. There are three tufts of hair there. <laughs> I always <have> choice. <laughs> it's little tiny ponytail. And why they have to give him shorts? He could have looked so dapper in long pants, but now he just looks like an ill Victorian child. Mother, I threw up. Why they give him an accent? Mother, I threw up. <laughs> and festive rewards. Ooh, what's this? I like it. Does it go inside or outside? Wu Shao? Is it Wu Shu or Wu Shao? Because I know Wu Shu. Isn't that? Ooh, what's that? Not but in indignation for the people's lot. Wow. Fancy. A little rat tail. <laughs> How. I can't get over it. It's like a little... It's not even long enough to be a rat tail. It's like a little bunny tail. Hee 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 hee. Okay. Okay, we are familiar with this one. What's this one? Festive affairs. Okay, these are the four parts. Unlocked after six hours. Oh... So I won't be able to complete it all the way. I guess I could save it for next week. I don't know how available I'm going to be next week, though. Ugh, curse being an adult. Okay, well, let's get as much as we can. Go to Chen Yu Vale with Ga Ming. Holy moly. Wait, what? Huh? What do you mean? When did this get unlocked? What is this? What? When when did we get all this? I guess I haven't been paying attention to patch notes, but Jesus. I mean, Jesus? How big is Liu Wei? Don't tell me this is part of Liu as well. I will... I will scream. So, this is all Liu Wei? This is Liu Wei? Oh, I guess that's, uh, part of them. But this is Liu Wei? And then the chasm? And then the chasm has the whole underground? This is all Liu Wei as well? Does this start as Liu Wei? And I think that might still be Mondstadt. Ha! Huh. What? How big is this place? We're going on an adventure! Oh my goodness. Zhongli's influence is wide. 
No wonder he got tired of ruling. He's like, ah, there's just too much space. I can't, I can't be the god of all of this anymore. The people have to take over. I'm, I'm tired. I'm an old man. <laughs> oh, my old weary bones. <laughs> Ew! Wait. The Hilly Charles! I'm coming! Are you? Too bad you can't dive down here. Anasili! Hello, my fellow Ka... Kahenaria people. What? What? The uh, wait? Huh? What just happened? <laughs> what was that? Hello? The local adeptus. We have another one, and this is the tiny little teapot rum one calls home for now. She's like a little fairy. Huh? We were still doing the delivery just now. How did we suddenly end up... I see. So the paper is used to make kites, yes? Huh. I can feel festive fortune emanating from you. I hope this sudden invitation will not ruin the fun. Ooh, I like her hair. Cl pin? Very pretty. That said, Paimon's not sure this counts as an invitation. Were we the only ones brought here? My apologies. Why do I want to give her a country accent? <laughs> but... The only two of you have surpassing compatibility with the local spirit veins, which is why I could only invite you in. Yes, your names were carried here by the fish that swim, and I have thus long anticipated your visit. Is she a fish lady? The fish adept eye? For some reason, her face looks like it belongs in a different game. Like, it doesn't look like a Genshin Impact face. You know? Maybe it's the eyes? Something about her is off. It is a pity that I is now quite incon- Wait, not quite convenient, else I would have invited you to a tea-tasting banquet. Speaking of which, I'm quite sorry, but I have a crust to make of you. Thank you. It's pretty here. I presume the two of you have heard of the tea village of Shenyu Vale. Kwa Kwa Ying Village? This land has been famous for its cool, fragrant water since ancient times. The people are of gentle character and the pristine pebbles in the streams are exquisite. Precisely. The waters and soil of Shenyu Vale have begun to change recently, and as has the scent of its tea. Kwa Ying Village? Cha? Chi? Chi Ying Village? Will inev inevitably decline should this persist. One hopes that you two can resolve the disharmony of the soil and water on one's behalf. The water veins are spread across the mountains, but my power is no longer sufficient, nor is it- It doesn't have to do with the Lantern Rite Festival. Yeah. <laughs> Does this have to do with the Lantern Rite Festival, or is this just like their own little detour? Yeah, we aren't exactly expert when, when it comes to this stuff. Is there some problem that I can help you solve with lots of- with lots of violence. <laughs> this is just a new quest. Uh, you lady are in my way. You are quite direct, but fret not. You are clever by nature and should perceive clearly the difficulties you encounter. You can even perform your delivery first. It is no issue. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Let me out. Dwelling in the mortal world with you. To aid you in traversing the landscapes and piercing the fog. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. Okay. Why does this feel like we're starting over? What? You may glimpse the wondrous pearls of water scattered- Oh, I guess I can go underwater. That absorbed air and adaptal. Wait, can I? Maybe. I'm confused. And now float. Use the adaptal energy granted by fu fusion to briefly transform into a golden carp fish and enter them. 
Once you are inside the pearls of water, you can go anywhere you please and can hold the jump button to leave vertically. Oh, I get it. This way you can cross over the mountains and forests with ease, just like the golden carp fish of legends of yore. Exorcism uses thaumaturgy and martial arts to conquer evil. Okay, fish there are lady. Other means to the same end, but they are not the true way. Is there a, a chest in here? Seems kind of, kind of. Why does it go so far back? There must be something hidden, right? Notting hidden? Girl, you're the worst. Your teapot is lame. Don't even have anywhere to sit. Boo. Boo. Let me out. Let me out! What the heck? Use my adeptal energy. How? Wait. I forgot something important. Oh, you're back. Jeez, guys. Where'd you go? One moment you were there, the next you disappeared. You scared the life out of me. I am a magical hey, being. I'm so sorry. We were just... Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> this poor man says, I will well, escort you and protect you. <laughs> well, the and then we just disappear. And it's easy to get lost in the fog. So from here on out, stay close to me. Lost in the sauce. Hey, let's keep going. Is that a turtle? A turtle? Oh, I can't believe how big this land is. And I think this m up here is going to be more of Mondstadt. I like turtles. He's a tortoise. Oh my god, now I'm going to have to get more of these. I had finished getting all of these. Had I? Wait, no. I was close to getting them all, though. Uh, but seriously, now there's more? Are there more? I'm sh I'm, sh I'm sure there are more. Sucks. Screw you, Zhong Li. Give me that stone. I deserve it. Clear water, Jade. Thank you, Turtle, for your service. Oh, <laughs> it's glaring at me. He's like. It's so pretty. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh, the docks are just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. You calling me incapable? You calling me weak? Huh? I'll show you weak. <gasps> I am coming. Wait, get behind me. I'll handle this. Oh, a man who protects. Oh, can I use my other characters? Yes, I can! Think you can get away? <laughs> oh, wait. It's five. <laughs> I'm setting the forest on fire. It whoopsies! <laughs> How you work with my team is the real question. I missed having Venti on my team. I like that. Test subject. Yeah, you did pick the wrong test subject. We really can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? You spoke it into existence, Paimon. Yeah. It's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. Like us? Paimon was impressed by your I don't guard. Idea. You seem like a real pro at your job. I am not the guardian of uh, people. <laughs> Don't mind me just uh creating a forest fire in your beautiful land. She's a goldfish. She can she can fix it. Cleavives, yes. I look like a man. Do 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 
I should cut my bangs again. There we go. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. What is? I lost the plot. Have you ever heard of wushou dancing? No. I haven't. Really? Wushou dancing is famous in Chunyu Vale. Stop looking at me with those eyes. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. <laughs> He's in competition with Yin Jin. Is that what her name is? Yeah. I'm also well aware that people in Liyue at Harvard aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch wushou dancing. What? So, it's not something I do full-time. Follow your dreams! Huh? You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? Trust me, I don't know. I feel like I have three jobs. <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. I cannot rest. I don't have the capabilities of rest. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really. <laughs> Just yesterday, I stayed up all night playing cards. Oh, a gambler. We got a card playing gambler. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. I'm on so confused. I'm... Um... Very hot. I'll try to open a window. It'll probably affect the lighting again, so. I just missed all of that hair back there. Ooh, it's. Mm, yeah. Why did I legitimately think it was nighttime? Why is it so cool toned? Let's see. Whoa! Face. Better? Much yeah. better. Okay. What are your guys' favorite types of snacks? I'm such a snacker. I snack all the I time. To quiet the spirit and calm my vital energies. Potato chips. I like potato chips effective. too. What is that? Is this the harbor? I thought it was gonna be bigger. Let me up. And T, this is a. Ch Are those dodo birds? What? Is it spirit carp? How many things do I have to collect in this goddamn world? Yeah. <gasps> what? Hey, yo, I'm shooting you, bird. Mmm. Oh, we're taking a raft to the actual harbor? Finally, we can rest. Ooh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. And 
and her stomach so empty. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. That's just Paimon. She's a complainer. Would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. But does she even need a thing to float? I feel like it's just uh, kind of like breathing for her. You'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Paimon never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you apparently never get tired. No matter how far you walk or how... Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Thank Enjoy. you. And here's some for you too, Uncle Borsu. <laughs> Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. I was just I'll thinking just about that. <laughs> God, Ming seems like a real people person. He can get along with anyone, and he treats every person he meets like a close friend. I'm jealous of people like that. It must be so easy. <sighs> that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. Look at the turtles. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from Is all sorts of places. Is this a date? <laughs> Whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant. I in the seem city. like that kind but of person. Each place cakes with a slightly different. That's flavor. a very like big compliment. Ones, Thank you. The shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. I'm not good at that though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really. I. I I grew up with stranger okay. danger, kind of so if I don't know someone, I will be like, "Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh?" <laughs> Are you flirting with my companion? Am I the third wheel here? Is Ga Ming on a date with Paimon? Now this is more what I was thinking. This poor Don't man. Your things and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft. Or he had to bring us all the way over here. Waterfall. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Colored contact lenses. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Elevator. Elevator. Was it last um, Lantern Right Festival that Venti came? Venti was there to hang out. <gasps> Do you think we'll see Zhao? I miss Zhao. I miss my mans. I miss Kaya. <laughs> Where is Kaya? We did get some pretty good Kaya uh, uh, time, though, with... Uh, was it Halloween? Yeah, I think it was Halloween. Ant-Man! You always see Zhao. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Why do I think that was a hilly trail? I wonder if the locals just see me like raiding all of their stuff and they're like, really? Come on, dude. <laughs> I just go through all of their boxes. Where's the elevator? Is this the elevator? Ah. Ah. How do I go up? Do I have to talk to someone? Hey, yo. Let me up. Is there a... A nozzle? Oh! I just needed to be patient. Oh. It's like Zelda's NPCs watching Link break all their pots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or in uh, Honkai where we're going through the trash. Nope, I'm me just shuffling through this trash can. Seeing if there's anything good. 
<laughs> Look at more boxes to go through. Just invading on everyone's privacy. Hi. Hi, Sai. Your name's like my name. Sai and Ty. And a chest. <laughs> Are they contemplating the chest? Now, what might be inside there? Objects like this may prove useful when purging evil spirits. Well, you'll never know. It's mine now. He teleport away point. Nice. Okay. That primos. Hey, I slow down. I'm begging you. Snooze you lose. No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? It's not packed. <gasps> Look at the fish. Oh my goodness. I like it. <gasps> I like this one. Oh. Ew. Like mossy water. Gross. Hello. I have a deliver. Wow, this is nice. I thought oh, it was just gonna well, be the little down there harbor. How should I put it? Come on, spit it out. Do you see that group of people over there? No. Those are my relatives. <gasps> He's bringing me to meet the family so soon. Wow, you sure have a big family. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Oh, this is bad. I can cause a distraction. Family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Unless. Oh, did you do something horrible? Get <laughs> caught on purpose. No, it's not that. I'm just not that good at dealing with my family. Ah. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. Is this whole town your family? I'll explain more when we have the chance. But right now, we've got a job to do. Shall I get caught? Mm, the left side looks pretty packed. Let's go straight. Slow and steady wins the race. <gasps> Hi, Granny. Hi, Grandpa. Sup? Hi. Can I wave to them? Hi. Where am I going? Well, whoopsies. Do you have more family over there? You do. <laughs> Is this your mom? <gasps> do I get to meet your mother? Oh, aunt. I want. Is his mom here? I want to meet his mom. Where is your mother? Hey, yo. Stick close, traveler. You. Where is his mom? With the cry of Gomming's names, his relative begins to surround you from all directions. Where is your mother? Gomming, when did you get here? Oh, you've lost even more weight. How long are you planning on staying this time? How's work been? It sounds tough. You should visit home more often. They're so well, last nice. Time I spoke with your dad, he couldn't stop talking about you. He seems worried. Causing trouble again, are you? Uh. <laughs> After much talking, you finally extricate yourselves from the circle of Gomming's relatives. Why did he not want to see them? They were so nice. Don't miss out on our lantern right promotion. No, Buy I don't boxes, want. Get ten percent off. I was Buy just gonna boxes. steal from you. See? Why do I need to buy anything from you when I could just steal it? Look at all this stuff I can steal. I got a spear. Like them. Hey, Uncle Drigway. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. Oh, so you like they this uncle? But you don't like any of your other family? Got it. 
So I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yong's on then. How many uncles do you have? Is it like here in Hawaii where just like everyone's an uncle and auntie? Yes. Thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. Sir, yes, sir. No need. We'll be off soon and- Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songla tea stash around here somewhere. Songolo. I promise you. One sip and you'll be hooked. Anyway, you just trying to make me relax, a Uncle geaholic. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Who's that child? Leave this to me. I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. He knows and I'll add some things about pastries on Paimon? What about me? Paimon has a crush on Daluk, but Ga Ming has a crush on Paimon. Yeah, what the heck? What about me? What about what I like? How long have you two known Gaming? Like two hours. Oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along. He's just a super welcoming guy. We been... <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort. Really knows how to look after his own. Well, obviously he didn't care about me. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. Said his joint. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine Boo -boo. for him from Dr. Baiju. Then traveled. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? Try me. I mean, there is his dad, but... Well, ask anyone else. He... Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigwe? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Ah, <sighs> feels like we've troubled you enough already. I can do it. It's kite making materials, though. It could be for a kid. Stop being nice. I'm mad at you. Noticed all what Paimon likes and didn't even think of me. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ring. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. Thank you. All right, then. Deliver it if you want to. Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Shinya Kiosk? Are Mike you asking Tree me? Don't even think about trying to pay. Are you asking me or are you asking Paimon? Whoa, that's way too generous of you. Uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Why do I feel Besides left out? The thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. I don't. I'm not happy, Gaming. Not happy at all. Is the video buffering or stuttering for any of you guys? Because it says that I am dropping frames, but not a lot of them. And the bit rate is pretty low. What is with internet here? Sounds it is still good. stormy though, so that might be it still. Alright, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. What about me, sir? Are you trying to play hard to get? <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. <laughs> anyway, is Gaming's family situation really that calm? He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. That's usually That's how it is. Enthusiastic and <sighs> How should I put it? Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. But I asked. You seem to be around the same age, so perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. What? Why would I give you a favor? What? I don't know you nothing. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. That's... Paimon! Why would you only ask for flag in return? We provide aid in spades. Couldn't hurt to advertise our services, right? I, no, I don't want to advertise. No advertising here. Well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? I don't want to say anything. Wait, seriously? I'm almost just joking. <laughs> uh, seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. Would you like some more tea? I think. No. Maybe they'll have- Alright then. Kites! Please do let me know if you like- 
Let's look at the kites. Huang the third. Oh, do I have to do it a certain way? Bah. Bah. What? Do I have to hit every one of them? Bah. Uh, I... You will go drive me crazy. We look around the wall. Oh, hello. Objects like this may prove useful when purging evil spirits. Treasure. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Oh, uh, hello. What are you doing here? Huh. The way you speak, one might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. <gasps> it is Cloud Retainer. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. It makes sense now how she dresses her, uh, her people, Ganyu and Shenha. Their outfit choices make sense now. Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite-related thingamabob or something? Well, Paimon, where's the animosity coming from? I won't put that huge box next to you. Ah, Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? And what of it? <laughs> She's like, and? The Chishing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition has blue lipstick. is no consequence to oneself. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment? Or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? Why you gotta use big words? Um, it's not that we think those things exactly... That's just what Mountain Shaper and Mooncarver told us. Or Tia something and Ho. Oh. Paimon can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. <laughs> anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. Oh, huh. oh Claus. Tianyun? Huh. Oh, it appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten <gasps> about those two old fossils? Has she been in her human form too long? Turn back into a bird! <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Like? Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one perform. So like right here. I'll steal it then. Oh, Thievery. Just does whatever she wants. Hey, now you too, traveler. Oh, all this time on ditching is super not appreciated. Well, it's super not appreciated. You flirting in my face. One will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. Two boxes will do. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern right promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. That's a horrible sale. 20% hmm. off four. Then four shall suffice. No. Mm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? He's scamming so, you. Perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy ten, get half off. No. Okay, so if you buy four, you get 20% off. If you buy five, you'll get 30% off. If you buy six, 40% off. Seven, seven should get her 50% off. Why do you have to get buy ten to get 50% off? That is not a deal. Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair to... Hmm. Ten Don't. Boxes. Don't. Seems rather excessive. Hmm. Ten. A nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even check... That is agreeable. One will... Um, I will have these boxed up then. Is he even getting one for Zhao? I mean, that's sweet. Of course, of course. Right away. <laughs> He's like, I need to sell something I see too. You have quite the eye for fine items, Mademoiselle. Perhaps some of my wares might also be of interest. 
Oh, I'm poor gullible from Fontaine. You'll Bird. get nothing but the finest and most intricate cloth. Hmm. She's like, Perhaps my tinkering is better. Well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing. <laughs> what? She sends me? It, there is no need for that. Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model. Ah, of course. Here you go. The instruction manual is... She's like, I don't need instructions. I can do without. Thank you. I'm gonna redo I it. I surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, there is no harm in bringing it back. <laughs> like, I was like, I didn't make a very good sale there. Oh, Shenyan! Did your shopping go smoothly? <sighs> Naturally. One may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks at faculties. Well, you did get kind of taken advantage of there, monetarily. <laughs> and you too? Are you not here to purchase things? No, ma'am. We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like you are also planning to participate in the kite flying. <gasps> She's participating then. too? We got steep competition. <clears throat> one means to say, one has been entreated to share one's kite making expertise. And indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. Supplication. One, moment, one had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests. And thus, one will be organizing a kite making <gasps> workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Yay! I would like that. Oh, who will be partaking? Shu Yu, Shen He, Yu, <gasps> and Yayo. Shen He! Wow, that's quite. Also, this is all pretty well, Shen Yun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate. Ha! Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. Why are you making it so complicated, Cloud Retainer? It is composed of materials as light as bamboo. <sighs> <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better. She just called me stupid. <gasps> she just called me stupid. Well, I mean, yeah, I skipped it on purpose because I didn't want to listen to it, not because I'm stupid. Rude. It sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. Yeah. So, will you be attending the workshop or not? Only for Shen Ha. Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this- All right, then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One, arrive at Mount Outsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. That's a different mountain. Are you leaving? to help you with them <laughs> surely you jest one goes as one pleases she gonna turn into a bird <gasps> a magic box a magic what? purse it can float? what kind of invention is that i want that i hate carrying everything when i'm shopping one calls it the floating toting device <laughs> <laughs> The floating toading. I'm proud of that one. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident. But everyone around her is looking at her all funny. But anyway, that box of hers seems to be f uh not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She just uh got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. Oh Paimon. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. Uh, what will I do about you, Paimon? All Paimon say is that Shen Yun sure does try hard to save face. What did she call it again? A crude totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. We didn't say anything. You saw something. I saw nothing. After all, that is the propriety with which... Pretty!
What next? Wow! Aw, oh, I thought I could claim it from there, but no, you still have to go to the place. The Adventurer's Headquarters. What do you want? What? Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. What do I have? Oh, I have this. What's this? Uh, I can change Scaramucci's name. Here's my little mochi. Scaramucci. And the cake. Cake, 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 cake. It's a piece of cake, 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 cake. Cake, 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 cake. It's a piece of cake, 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 cake. Ooh, wah. La 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 la. La 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 la. A clear bottle. Why do I not know half the things I have? And what do you want? Bum ba da dum bum bum. Now it's unlocked. And what do you want? What? Oh, I completed it. Nice! Part two. Wait two days. One... Two... I don't know how to beatbox. I wish I could. That seems like a interesting skill to have. What'd you miss? Uh, we were making fun of Cloud Retainer. And her shopping habits. And what I had achieve? To touch face at heaven and earth. What was it called? Anything else? No. Chen Yu's Splendor. My goodness. Light up Chen Yu Vale map in Liyue re region. That might, that's not too hard, right? Hmm. I just have to find this. That's kind of far. Where's the next part of the quest? I thought I was tracking it. Submit for judgment. Where do I go? Didn't I do two days later? Oh my god. 8 to 12. When is 8 to 12? It's warm. Now is it time? Hi, I've never had Yay. drinks from a Chinyue kiosk before, but it should be quite the feast. Where must I go? All the way back home. One plus one equals I miss you too. What? Ooh, and that's why I'm on stomach right on cue telling her it's time to go find Gami. We're getting a dim sum with gaming. The camera quality is irritating me. I'm trying not to focus on it. Oh. One plus one equals I miss you too. What? No, that, that. Oh, you're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Oh, sit down, sit down. Thanks, coming. Let's all take a seat. You can't Here, take a seat, Paimon. Can Paimon even sit? Oh, thank you. Wait, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. That was for you to rinse your utensils. 
<laughs> He's so fed up with her. Oh, you poor thing. Poppin' hot dim sum. I don't think I've had dim sum in a while either. Do I even know what dim sum looks like? I would think I do. Okay, yes, I do know what dim sum looks like. I have not had dim sum in a while either. It originates in China. Aww. Wow, so much delicious food. That's so Did cute. You really eat all this just for breakfast? <laughs> That's just how we do it where I'm from. I love the art. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. What? Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. What's that? I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. What is tong soy? It's introducing me to new words. Tong soy. Food? What? It's a soup? Also known as Tim Tong is a collective term for any sweet soup or custard served as a dessert. Ew. Typically at the end of a meal in Chinese cuisine, Tong Sui originated in the Lingnan region of China and some parts of other provinces. Lots of provinces. So it's a dessert. Interesting. Interesante. What about you, traveler? Is the food to your liking? Oh, now you notice me. Seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. What is seafood kanji? Seafood soup? Is that what it is? Seafood con... Kanji? Que es... Boiling rice in a large amount of water until the rice softens. Kanji is a form of savory rice porridge. Okay, and then you just put seafood in it? Wow, I haven't heard of that before. Or tongsui. I haven't heard of a lot of these foods. Paimon's gonna take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks! Okay, bye, man. Each dish tastes each dish tastes exquisite. This goes on until even Paimon can't eat another bite. <sighs> so full. That meal was so satisfying. It even gets Oh, listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. What? Let's think about this for a second, Gaming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that that would explain why you try to keep your friends in. <laughs> Are you? Huh? Yeah, that's you Singcho. Know hmm. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. He just goes around and is like, is this rumor true? That's ballsy. Oh, you truly are okay, okay. Enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. <gasps> Paimon, you're gonna make him feel bad. Oh. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad... He always wanted me to inherit the family business. To be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. It's not who I ever wanted to be. Stop. Have you ever talked to him about it? You know, about your interests in- Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wushou dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. Stop. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but so wushou sweet. dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day, 
he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships. But Clo throwing hands? I refused to go. In the end, I was so angry that I, I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. He's a runaway. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? It's not like I think I'm completely without fault. <gasps> then all his family members who saw him, they're gonna go and tell this mom and dad and be like, yeah, we saw, we saw Ga Ming. And they're like, what? You saw who? Where? Here? No. I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big and leave you a heart. Ga Ming. But I'm sure you both already know and how that's And how's Ham so much money? In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring. And you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So I found a job as a guard to make some money. And still. Paimon understands. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Her tea's getting cold. Actually, we kind of already have plans this afternoon. <laughs> Sounds like you're lying, Paimon. I told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite making. Oh? Are you interested in kite making? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Xian Yun. What? That title certainly humanizes her a bit. Oh, I know that she's an adeptus. Okay, good. I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. She's tried. Not successfully. She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Uh, probably. Is that not- It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. She does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. It would be such a shame if everyone works so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dyes in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. I want to see Zhao. Great, the more the... Where is a Zhao? Zhao, my darling. Sweetheart. Same thing. How do I get out of here? Let me out. This is... See, why does it look okay on here? It looks so overexposed. Is that better? It feels too dark. It's a new kiosk. The place to go for classic UA dishes. Is that better? It's gonna drive me crazy. Crazy. Feelings lonely. Hello? Maybe I'm just crazy about you. Nice try. Hmm. How long I'm has this been here? Useful when I, I refuse huh? to acknowledge if that's been there for a long time. Nuh uh. Huh? Where's Zhang Li? Where are all the guys? Where's Chong Yoon? Sing Cho has an outfit. When is Chong Yoon gonna get an outfit? Add Astra. I would like. Uh, Thank you for completing today's commission. Sweet. Give me a Chong Yoon outfit. So she gets it. They all get outfits. How do I get Sing Cho's outfit? I don't even have Ganyu. Ooh, it's pretty. I like the bow. And look at her hair. Cute. 
Look at how pretty she is. Look at Shenha! <laughs> She's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Wait a second, how do you get... Is it this? No. Was it here? Where was it? Where did I see it? Here? I obtained when festive fever reaches 600. I don't have any festive fever. I haven't done any of the festivities. Oh my goodness. Heart be pure, I... evil be erased. Where do I need to go? A mount. Mount. Ah, tong. Ah, tong. Where are you? Why is the teleport waypoint here behind the mount? That's what I want to know. Might I have to climb the highest blood? Bird. Wee! And the little pig went wee 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 all the way home. Yow yow! Shenha! Poor sweetie. Uh, Kanyu. you! Oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. I love you, Shenha. A guest at Wanmin Restaurant. Did her eyes change? I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. Why do your eyes look different? <sighs> hmm. Apologies in advance. You can do a little slap slap. Wait, Shenha, not there. They grew up. Did they grow up together? To her horns. <coughs> wakey wakey. See, it worked. Uh, are you okay, Ganyu? I, I'm fine. Huh. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? <clears throat> Master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. Did she just accidentally so poison Ganyu? Does you? this mean that heat's what we need to help you come? Uh, Pilot doesn't... Huh. I... I feel a bit better now. Was I asleep? Vic's vapor rub. <laughs> Must have been around the time I used... Shen has vapor rub. Did you not sleep last night? That doesn't... Hmm. Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. We get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. You work at Wanmin? Was I supposed to know that already? I... I could never. I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are... Me? <laughs> oh, Gaming. Me? I was like, you know me. Gaming. I... Gaming. The name sounds familiar. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha, and this is Yao Yao. Ah, she's so cute! It's an honor to finally meet you all. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Shenyun's kite-making workshop, right? Yes. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Why are you so pretty? Me too! I want to participate in the Her eyes look like Gaming's eyes. Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't come with you? Well, Chi Chi's Chi -chi. been super busy helping Dr. Baiju lately. Oh, I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. 
It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Ah! Wow, you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just... But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her... Oh. It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this work. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Did Kanyu's skirt thing get shorter? Was it always like that? Why does it feel exposed? Well, we're all here. But where the heck is Xin Yun? Xin Ch Who is it that speaks of oneself in Who's such an ill-tempered tone? Oh, come on! You clearly Who's that child? Time. Master stopped to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Come get it while it's still warm. Who are you, child? Oh, Paimon, sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird. Paimon always knew you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? <laughs> Paimon, you are dead to Cloud Retainer. Shoo you. Am I supposed to know this child? <sighs> so delicious. Paimon's Did Shenha have like a character quest? It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure no. to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Yes? No. Any Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eat. Paimon knew she could count on you, traveler. Mm-hmm. One will wait under this During a cloud retainer story quest, ah. Uh... ...air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, question. We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't... Let's see. Okay, so... Did Shenha have one? Did I already do Shenha's? New Evelet. I haven't met him yet, Worth of Slusley. So she has a story quest. Nahida has two. I had Yellen's unlocked for some reason. Don't remember what. I haven't done most of these. I have Jung Yoon's to do still. <laughs> okay. What are you making? Hey, Gaming. Want to team up? Huh? Wait, I have to participate? You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. He's a dancer, not a kite maker. No, it's not that. Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make. Hmm. Why does he have what such a complicated history? How about a butterfly? He wants to be free. What do you think, Shuya? Is there a particular Shuya? design you want? I want a swanee. A what? Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. What's a swanee? True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> Am I supposed to know what a swanee is? Um, Shenha, it would be great if you- I see. My apologies. Aww. I shall remember that in the future. Thank you. No harm done. Good. Could I touch them just once more though? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Horns? Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. They look shiny. Mm. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Uh... 
Oh, I see. Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next. Oh, no need. <laughs> I'll just. <coughs> and perhaps. Per okay. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let me touch your horns. It's like something I've eaten before. Excuse me? <laughs> yow yow and cloud retainer. How cute! Yeah, yeah, it's just adorable. <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. Oh my god! <laughs> One is looking for. What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. Oh, why not both? If you are asking for one's own opinion, when giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? With age comes wisdom, child. How old do you one think she is? One has a way of knowing things. Cloud retainers. 750 years old. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cla I'm gonna start painting it gold. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. One was <laughs> under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? Uh, no, ma'am. We actually haven't started <laughs> yet. But start. we're going to start. Uh, we should get started. Do I get to make it? Now. Let's go. I get to make a kite. Do you want to build a snowman? We have to decide on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? <laughs> a oh, Paimon shaped kite? A I don't want to make a Paimon shaped yet. kite. If nothing else, a Paimon shaped kite could have. Maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. We should. Ex the guardian angel of travelers. She dropping hints. I want a Paimon shaped kite. Now, what expression should we get? Do I get to choose? She should look pleased with herself. She should look afraid. She should look guilty. You look guilty. Oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong. And even if she did, she doesn't deserve to get shot up into the sky for it. Something like this, then. Yes. Let's make it happen. I'm still skeptical about her. I always will be. <sighs> it's done. Now we just have to attach the string, right? I want right. to see it. Gather around Wait. everyone. I want to see it. Oh, Shenyun's calling us. Is I get to add on the glowy stuff now? One take a look. Wow! Oh! On you and Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow. So pretty. So pretty. Jinx. I like this. Yep. The coloring makes it look a lot like mask. If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. <laughs> uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the color. I did the painting. Oh. <laughs> I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Matt. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. Only blue and white? You don't see anything else? Exactly. <laughs> so I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. Oh, so you painted with your eyes closed. No way. You, you can paint with your eyes closed? Wow. The disciples of Adepti really are something. You are most filial, Shen He. The swanee that Gao Meng and Shu Yu made looks very majestic. Oh, that's a swanee. Sure look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. I would have known eyes that. ears glow in the dark. Your golden finch is cute. <laughs> it's all thing. What about your kite, traveler? It's Paimon. 
<laughs> I love it. <laughs> Very Paimon like indeed. He's like, that one time the traveler suspected that a piece of meat was missing from their bowl. That was the exact expression on your face. Yelp tea. Okay. Is that something that happened? Is that the Jade Chamber? Uh oh. Where'd it fall from? Oh. Is that supposed to symbolize the actual Jade Chamber falling? I don't think we can handle another Jade Chamber. Just collapsing. Who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety? Oh, and to do so by making use of this? Oh, one simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Hi, Cloud Retainer. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Cloud Retainer? Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? I guess. Master's going to be okay, right? I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. Yeah, they're gonna be doomed. There's wind up ahead. Looks like we can glide over. Oh gosh. Bad retainer, don't kill anyone. I I don't think you have insurance for that. Whoa. Right where? Where are you looking? Ah. Hmm. <laughs> the device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. I can't believe it. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. Yeah, you should. Your concern, it Cloud Retainer, is either in the city looking after her disciples or secluded in her abode. On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark. Still thy tongue. If Cloud Retainer. Still thy tongue. Confess such a thing. We can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. One presumes that this kite belongs to you. <laughs> huh? Uh, why? Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. One's fault. One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. <laughs> Go lie down. I would be crying. I'm so sorry, Cloud Retainer. Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be Couple better to stay door. silent and retire at the earliest Hi, right opportunity. In. We can hardly avoid her forever. That may suffice during Lantern Rite. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Moon Chase Sooner Festival? Later, Do I know that? She will discover our true identity. I am blanking on all of us. <sighs> Go retrieve the kite. Absolutely not. That <laughs> is not our kite. <laughs> oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Uh-oh. Ah, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. <laughs> I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Uh huh. Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite. Uh, ah, mint! <laughs> well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. Uh huh. We finally caught up. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Chinyan. Moon Carver? Mountain Sheeper? What are you doing here? Busted. You. <laughs> okay, now Paimon's getting a weird back. It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. 
<laughs> simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. They're so silly. Then you are not angry? Oh, yes, she is. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? <sighs> we were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delight. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. Suck ups. You wield the wind and wind. <sighs> One has guests to attend to. With Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. Ah. Uh, lady. How am I supposed to keep up with that? Should I talk to them? It seems that one's concern. Then should we continue flying the kite? <laughs> A splendid suggestion, but it would be a perhaps your mountain would suffice. It is more than spacious enough. <laughs> Isn't this so funny? I have a mountain. You want to go to your mountain or my mountain? A fine idea. A f <laughs> Return to defeat the challenge by protecting the leyline monolith. While I'm here, I might as well. Get out of here. Pew, pew, pew. Oi, oi, oi. Brace yourselves. Think you can get away? No, you can't. Oi. Where are you coming from? Ah! <laughs> Yo! Here we go! Time for take off! Time for take off! Whoopsies, I'm setting the forest on fire again. Hey hey! Nice. Return to Mount Akotang. <laughs> Ellie. Bow, now, 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 now. Huh? Up we go. Oh, much easier way to climb up. Fly, Venti, fly! I return to Mount Akotang. The sunset. They're back. <gasps> After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out. Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Ah, a gentleman. Before he left, he said. Oh. He said. A kite is always tied down, no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. A poet. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Now that you mention it, Gaming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. A reflection of it. Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Aww. It may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection, but lose it, and you lose that which links you to home. Don't make me cry. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself, then I feel... Well, people often have different points of view depend... Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, one way to look at it. Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as a uh, tolerance and understanding. We were just chatting. You don't. Hmm. One Hi, Mons, being kind of rude cooking. to her. Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied. Oh, it's been so long since. Uh, worry not. 
One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more. <laughs> than... <laughs> hungry too. You already ate. Like the dim sum and grilled fish. Can... Shenhe, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying. If you're ready to serve the food, we can help. Go to the abode. I just ran through water. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Wouldn't it? Well, hopefully he doesn't drown. This is... Ah! She dressed her kids up! Oh, I can feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. Oh, poor sweet thing. Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. She's feeling herself. She's like, oh yeah. How do we look? <laughs> <gasps> she asked them just like that. She's so cool. You look pretty too, Ganyu. <laughs> the traveler's face. That's gay panic if I've ever seen it. How did she create the breeze in her hair? Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. You're so pretty. What colors have you been partial to lately? Lately? Blue. Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly at I like black. Oh. <laughs> one is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited the color black doesn't get dirty easily. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. And the material is sufficiently comfortable. Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, They're so cute! For this gift. And the kite, too. Thank you, Master. One is content as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. Does that mean she also made an outfit for Singcho? Because outfits are similar. Pretty. What is this? Deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent. It's a good thing Gaming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. He traveled all this way on account of the kite making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon. <sighs> oh well. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud. Retainer. Everyone loves Gaming. <laughs> How cute. One has high steps. Queen slaying. <laughs> He appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. <gasps> Support him financially. Help him achieve his dream. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string. Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shenhe. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, you're... Where do we even begin? <laughs> oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xinyin? If Paimon... Is Paimon just like, hey, everyone, you want to hear this guy's secrets? One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. How do you know that? He ran away from all... Oh? <laughs> Tone has, like, sounds familiar. Huh. Oh, okay. Paimon, you can't just share that information. What? This shall not do. Uh-oh. Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. What have we initiated? As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, he possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye not at a gathering of adepti. Bonanus once confirmed a secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minovius made for her was too long and impractical. However, Bonan when one asked Minovius' opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, <laughs> not even Rex Lapis could Rex guess Lapis. stubbornness. And later... <clears throat> uh, one means to say <laughs> that Lantern Right... It is a time to address problems. Fate is fickle. 
The cruel reality That's a pretty of this shot. world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or re- That's nice and all. Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? I do. Perhaps adeptal arts could be of use. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Combining our effort. Aha! Uh -huh. One, how about this? What is this angle here? Does that make sense to everyone? Oh, it's a cutscene. Got it. Yep. Oh, Paimon really hopes. Hmm. One's designs never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. Aye, aye, Captain. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna have that one, and that one. <laughs> okay, usually I keep going, but I'm getting a headache. I don't know if it's from the humidity or what, but I'd rather not push it. So I'm gonna end it here, and hopefully I'll be able to stream either Friday or Saturday. I will keep you guys posted, but we will continue with Genshin Impact on the next stream so we can finish the Lantern Rite Festival because that has like 15 more days left before the event ends, so we have time to do that. So if you're not already, follow me here, follow me on all of my other social media, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys have a great day. Happy New Year. And go dragons! <laughs> it's like a team. Go, you're the dragon. Okay, love you guys. Bye.